so there's no weekly vlog this week but I will let you in on what I've been up to these past few days because it is very exciting and there have been so many pinch me moments that my arm, it's just sore. Now London Fashion Week is in town and every time it comes around there are quite a few shows that I like to keep an eye on but there is one that I love and I always try it and stream and it's the one from Burberry so when an email from them arrived in my inbox giving me a bit of an all access pass, a little preview, a little peek backstage and a chance to actually watch the show in person there may have been some serious squealing <laughs> involved. I took them up on that offer and I had a very nice few days indeed. Let's rewind to Sunday where I took a little trip to Burberry HQ to have a preview of the spring summer 15 makeup look. Before it had gone down the runway it had basically just been signed off and the lovely artistic consultant of Burberry makeup Wendy Rowe talked us through the look and she is an absolute babe. She is just the babest of babes. She was such a lovely lady and she spoke us through the look and did a demo on Burberry New Face Flora. Fellow beauty blogger Estee from Essie Button was there. I'm sure you guys know her. She did a little vlog of her Burberry experience too so I will pop a link to her channel below. And we also got to meet the Burberry Chief Creative and Executive Officer Christopher Bailey. See look there's a photo it really did happen who may just be the nicest person who I've met for such a short space of time. Saw him for about two or three minutes but he just walked in and was so energetic, so bubbly, told everyone to eat the food, got pictures with everybody and then just went out and wished him good luck and he was just so nice. Gushing aside, the look that Wendy created for the runway was gorgeous as always but actually really unusual for spring summer makeup because there was a bold lip involved which was just a nice kind of change of direction. The skin was really fresh and dewy and there actually wasn't much going on on the eyes but the lips just gave it that pow and it looked amazing all paired with the clothing which I saw when I went to see the runway in action the next day. We did pop backstage for a bit which was absolutely manic. I don't think I've ever stood in a room with so many beautiful people at the same time and just watching the show was a bit of a dream come true moment but today I'm going to talk you through the spring summer 15 looks. Very simple, very classic, very chic. So let's do this. So as I've mentioned the base that Wendy created was very fresh and that was all in the layering. There was actually quite a few layers of products that went onto the skin but the key was in blending and making it look like the models were not wearing any makeup at all. And because the look is for spring and summer she wanted the models all to have this honey like complexion so the first product that she used was this and it's their fresh glow in the shade number two golden radiance and I'm just going to take one pump of that all over my face and just blend it in with my fingers and this just gives a nice kind of glow and sheen to the skin while warming things up a little bit. Now the second product that Wendy used was a BB cream and it is the Fresh Glow BB cream and I'm going to use this in the shade Fair number one. Again I'm going to apply this with my fingers and again this is just about amping up that glow while giving a hint of coverage. So this is like the sandwich layer in between because there are more layers to go on top, see, what did I tell you? This would actually be just really nice on its own just for an everyday base. Now just to top things off with a final hit of coverage, Wendy used a bit of the Fresh Glow foundation and she colour matched me to be a mix of beige number 26 and porcelain number 11. So I'm going to use a pump of both on a brush and I was so excited that Wendy Rowe personally matched me which meant that she had to touch my face. Wendy Rowe has touched my face, that is like life goal made. <laughs> now I'm going to get my inner Wendy Row on here because she did a pump of each on the back of her hand and then mix it with her finger, dabbed a bit on and then blended in with a brush. Random side note, my best mate Mel actually uses this foundation and is a huge fan and I can vouch for the fact that her skin does always look pretty darn great. Then she took some of the sheer concealer under the eyes and on the tops of the cheekbones and I'm going to use this in the shade Soft Beige number 2 just applying that on my bags and then she also did a few stripes there and when she did this on me that was the thing that made all the difference that really made the look look a lot brighter bit down the center of the nose and she did my cupid's bow as well so I'm gonna do that and then I'm just gonna blend that in with my fingers and Wendy said that the tip here was to use a concealer that was one shade lighter than your natural skin tone because that means that you really get the highlighting properties of it oh yeah almost forgot that had a stripe down at the center of my nose that would have made for a very interesting look 
Now I'm going to move on to a bit of cheek product that she used. And that was the Light Glow in Earthly Blush. And so it's just like a taupey, kind of slightly peach, slightly browny cheek colour. Now she actually used this on the eyes and on the cheeks. I'm going to pop a bit on the cheeks first. Just take a few stripes of colour, dust off the excess and just use this as a contour because we all know I need a bit of help when it comes to the cheekbone department. <laughs> so I think I've managed to carve out some kind of cheekbone there and actually this blush was the only thing that Wendy used on the eyes, the only thing. So that is no mascara, no eyeliner. She basically said that it's a really fresh modern way of wearing a red lipstick just to keep the eyes completely basic, bare, and just to have this like natural shadow there, just to create some kind of dimension, but to leave the lashes bare. Now, I always love a bit of mascara, you know I do, but one thing that I can get behind is not having to take off your mascara at the end of the day. So I think, Wendy, I will listen to you on this one because the idea of just being able to take my makeup off with one very simple swipe of Bioderma I'm definitely into. So I'm just gonna take that on an eyeshadow brush and just brush it slightly into the crease, which is where she placed it, kind of here, and slightly washed over the lids but it just added a bit of something something instead of leaving it completely bare. So now we're gonna move on to the brows. Now for this, Wendy used a new launch, which is the Effortless Eyebrow Definer Brow Shaping Pencil. I'm gonna use this in the shade Sepia, number two. And on one end, you've got a spoolie. You know I love these ones with a spoolie on one end. Makes life nice and easy. I'm just gonna brush through my brows there. And then you've got a little wedge of colour there. And this is a nice colour actually, it's quite ashy so it's not too warm. I'm pretty sure Cara didn't need this treatment, but I definitely do. Then finally on to my favourite bit which was the lip. Now because the collection was based around the birds and the bees, there was a definite floral vibe going on. So Wendy said that she wanted something on the lips that was very rosy, like a very intense rose. So she went for this and it is the lip cover in Ruby number 18 and she just took this all over the model's lips. Quite heavy actually, it definitely wasn't a sheer wash, it was a full pack on of colour so I'm gonna try and do this without making it too wonky. Oh and I must mention the nail polish. Now there were six colours in total used on the runway including the one I have on my hands today and they're gonna be released in January as two limited edition sets. So there's like a pinky one with like a dusky rose, quite a bright fuchsia and then like a dusky maroony shade and then there was a bluey one with like a royal blue, a green and then this one that I've got on my fingers today which is Stone Blue number 431. I think there are a limited number available online right now actually, so if I can find the link, I will pop that below. And that is the finished look. Thank you so much Burberry for having me and Wendy Rowe for doing my makeup and fulfilling a life goal. But thank you so much for watching. If you did miss the Burberry show, I will pop the highlights video down below in the description box. And I will see you on Thursday with another video. Bye.